almost every dish at this restaurant has a cheese pull. And that's actually part of its business strategy. Milky Lane opened its first location in Bondi, Australia in 2016. The business took off quickly, raking in $2.2 million in its first year by serving customers over-the-top dishes like mac and cheese croquettes, lasagna burgers, and Reese's peanut butter milkshakes. These items can be found in nearly 12,000 posts on Instagram. Milky Lane is known for crazy fun food, indulging foods, anything that you know people want to take photos of when they eat it. It's not just about taste anymore. Now, chefs have to think about the way a dish looks on Instagram too. 69% of millennials take a photo or video of their food before eating. And 30% say they would avoid a restaurant if it doesn't have a strong Instagram presence. Milky Lane dishes embody the type of food Instagram users just can't look away from. Massive double stacked burgers and decadent chocolate milkshakes. It had unbelievable demand that we, that we gained through social media and just viral viral food items that just spread all over the world. It was, it was great to have the cash flow in the business, um, but it was also a learning curve. We didn't realize how much is involved in restaurants, how much can go right and how much can go wrong for you. Millennials aren't the only ones falling for the cheese pulls. Milky Lane receives visits from all kinds of foodies, including big time celebs like Ed Sheeran, Sean Kingston, and Post Malone. In two years, Milky Lane has opened three additional stores in Cronulla, Parramatta, and Surfers Paradise, and has plans to expand across Australia. Originally, we wanted to roll out a corporate model with Milky Lane. However, due to the demand, um, we had that much interest in people wanting Milky Lanes all over Australia and then internationally. The restaurant plans to expand to 10 stores by the end of 2018 and they hope to quadruple that number to 40 stores across Australia by 2020. The, the challenges we face is finding the right franchisees, finding the right locations, and ensuring that we have the same consistency of food and cocktails throughout every single store along with the atmosphere. They aren't as focused on flipping burgers anymore. Instead, it's about maintaining the same original feel in each new space. Milky Lane plans to, to maintain our boutique feel by only rolling out a limited number of franchises. We won't sign off on any site just because of the numbers. We will sign off on every site because of the atmosphere, the vibe, and what we believe will work in what area. If it's working for Ed Sheeran, count me in. For Business Insider Today, I'm Taryn Verricchio.